everybody. This is uh, Meet the Animal, and it is called a red eft. Red efts are newts. They're the immature version of a green spotted newt. Now, red efts are going to be found walking along mosses, and they're so brightly colored. Um, the reason for that bright color is to keep them safe. Usually, if something has a bright color, it might be poisonous. Um, so this is sort of a fake out to be able to get to maturity. But how really interesting it is to see these itty bitty fingers and toes, right? But these bright spots never go away. Even as an adult and in water, um, those bright spots never go away. So the adult version of this animal has a wider tail. It's more of a paddle and there it makes it easier for them to swim they can get out of the water um, but they spend a great deal of time in the water so when a baby is on the land and the adult is in the water it's considered a newt when the baby is in the water and the adult is on the land then it's considered a salamander so similar not the same they are amphibians um, and you can see those super cool eyes, right? They do not have obvious tympanic membranes like our frogs, um, but they can definitely feel vibrations and they're very sensitive to those vibrations. As an adult, they usually have a mucus covering, so they're much shinier. As a baby, it's very dull, right? Um, but as an adult, it does not. Now, the interesting thing about uh, spotted newts and, and Fs is that sometimes the parents don't get out of water to have the babies and you might find um, an, a very immature red spotted newt that still has feathery gills and is underwater. But typically speaking, an adult's gonna crawl out gonna find a nice wet piece of moss gonna lay those eggs where it's gonna stay wet and they develop and crawl out usually only about this big so this one is not a newborn um, but it is still very very young so we hope you learned a little bit about our red eft <laughs>